now let's see the process management there are two things which generally we call it out one is program and second one is process so what is program program is a code which we write let's say we have written a program in a file called main.c so whatever the code we have written in this file is called program and what is process when operating system take this program and load it into memory then it will become a process so when operating system take this program so this program and load into memory so what is memory we generally call ram as a memory we never call the hard disk as memory load into memory for execution then some data structure is formed maybe uh, the data structure which it will form is having the process id which is called pid in short how much memory it need or whatever the files are required whatever the registers it needs to take for its execution and many things more so this data structure is called process this data structure as a whole is called process and this list is called pcb process control block and we sometimes call it as context also okay and moreover this program is generally resides in hard disk and the process is available in ram so if somebody ask you where does program resides it is in hard disk where does process resides it is in ram general structure of a data structure form is having stack heap static and global variables and lastly we have executable code and whenever a process wants to go beyond this boundary so let's say this is the starting address of the process which is let's say 10d and this is let's say 12f so if a process wants to access the memory before this 10d and after this 12f then we get segmentation fault and that's why it is always suggested when you get segmentation fault in your programs while running code then you must check your indexes of memory used probably in your indexes you have used something else for example in if you have used an array of size 10 and you are accessing an index which is beyond 0 to 9 so sometimes that memory is called illegal access and your program will give give segmentation fault okay so let's see what are the attributes of a process so attribute means whatever this pcb is holding okay so this pcb consists of process id and the process id is allocated to a process as soon as it is created this is unique identification number program counter program counter is a register which is used to hold the address of a next instruction process state so there are various process states we will see what are the all possible states we have in operating system for a process in next lecture there are total seven process states and we will see it by a diagram just wait for some time the priority of a process general purpose register list of open files list of open files means the files it will be needing while executing the program probably you are running a software and uh, that software needs let's say four files so out of four files one file is input file and another file is for code so 
while running the code it needs input also so open files which will be used by that process list of devices so list of devices means let's say you are having a biometric system so it needs biometric device to take the fingerprints and protection details so protection is cpu level protection memory level protection and device protections so for that we need protection also so that illegal use should not happen and pcb of the processes are linked using linked list so here the tips for the interview are if somebody ask you what are the uh, attributes of a process so you must uh, learn at least 3 4 out of these so uh, you must know that process id is created when the new process is created there are process states in which state it is available so there are seven possible process state the priority of a process list of open files devices so you must learn at least 3 4 attributes here and these attributes are available inside pcb and pcb is also called process control block so we must understand this thank you